All right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. All right, now here's a video that I'm sure everyone's going to find interesting. Uh, the video deals with frauditor Georgia Transparency, a.k.a. Clarence Russell Pickron. Uh, Clarence Russell Pickron uh, is now becoming a... Uh, little baby in um his frauditing okay apparently um i'm not the only one that he hit with privacy complaints uh i've noticed other channels are, have uh, been hit as well by him now mind you uh as we all are well aware uh people that end up on these frauditors videos that uh personally telling them they don't want to be on his video now Clarence feels that uh because they are public employees that it's uh his right to put them on social media uh Clarence that is technically wrong okay and that's why you've gotten a few of your videos taken down buddy and um again I'm going to put uh here here we have Peachtree City Hall uh this is the city hall that in this video he went and acted like a total jerk with three female employees there now mind you the first employee here uh this one here i really have much respect for her uh she conversated with this man twice okay and respectfully told him in the beginning she didn't want to be recorded Okay, she has her reasons why. And let's just say, uh, she said a lot of things, guys. A lot of things that this lady earned her respect from me. Uh, she's got much respect from me. And it's unfortunate that after, uh, after Clarence here posted this video on his channel, a few of his subscribers ended up calling the city hall. And um, you know how they do, guys. Talking shit to the people on behalf of the frauditor. Now, Clarence has uh, the audacity to state that he has no control over the fact that the people that watch his videos call up the uh, location that he's frauditing at. But do you guys notice that he makes a big effort in um, putting up the name of the location the phone number as well as the name of the uh, employees that he's dealing with so you're gonna tell me uh, that you're well aware that a lot of these uh, people that support your channel there Clarence they're not playing with a full deck uh, a lot of them the majority of them hate our government as it is and that's why they support you because you're out there uh, physically throwing jabs at the government on their behalf so uh, apparently if you're putting the name and the location and the phone number and so on you're contributing it to uh, them calling you don't have to say call them uh, the fact that you're putting the number and the name of the people uh, and in your own little way you're telling them to call them anyway guys I'm telling you guys I'm asking you guys because I'm going to make a phone call tomorrow I'm definitely calling up this location to let them know uh, the three young ladies that ended up on this uh, video here that they told them they didn't want to be on this video I'm going to let them know, okay? I think they're well aware that they are uh, on YouTube because one of them made comments that uh, their uh, subscribers were calling them names, okay? But I don't think they're fully aware that they have that option if they don't want to be on YouTube that there's an option to use the privacy complaint. And again, I don't know if I mentioned it. I might have. Uh, I'm not the only channel that... Uh, uh, Clarence uh, Russell Pickron hit with privacy complaints. Yes, he hit my channel like a week ago, a week and a half ago, whatever the case may be. And um, I guess he doesn't fully understand how the terms of services work on YouTube. Okay, and um, as long as he is uh, hitting, well, let's say uh, the video that he is uh, hitting me with a privacy complaint, as long as that video is up and running on his channel... How could I be uh how could I be uh, breaking the terms of this, uh, the privacy term there with uh, YouTube? If you yourself are, are putting your info up there online, okay? So uh, let them hit me again with a privacy complaint. It's not going nowhere, guy. And eventually YouTube's going to turn around and knock your channel off for uh, abusing 
the privacy complaint. So, guys, check out the video. Uh, see how much of an ass he is here. How much of an ass he treated these public employees. And then he has the audacity to uh, uh, tell his subscribers that he's holding the government accountable. I ask you guys, how are you holding the government accountable by holding a camera in their face and then want to ask them what kind of money they make? How the hell are you holding the government accountable by doing that? Let's jump into the video and that'll better explain what I'm rambling about. Well, in, in my personal experience, if a man that I don't know walks up to me with a camera, even though I'm a public employee, it's going to make me uncomfortable. It's my job to do my job, and I'm going to do that. Well, does it men, everybody, well, doesn't men walk up to that window every day? Not filming. Not taking an image of me away. But it doesn't... Not, not walking away with an image of me to put online so that people can call me a waste. Have, have you ever been to people, Disney people World? People can call me a waste. Ma'am, I can't hmm? control what other people say. Good morning. Are you filming? Yes, ma'am. Not in front of me, please. Oh, we can't film in here? No, not here. Why? What? One, I personally do not film me. Or is this, are we in public? I do not want to be filmed and I'm not giving you my permission. But, or, I'm trying to get some... Take the camera away from me and I'll answer any questions that you have. Is this City Hall? Obviously, yes. Oh, I just wanted to know what services are provided here. <laughs> Ma'am? I can't hear you. Oh, just your name and position, and then what City Hall provides the uh, public for Peachtree City. And then how do we get a, how do you register a golf cart here, and then her name and position? Um, I would just like to not be recorded. Are you recording me right now? Oh, yes, ma'am. I'm filming and taking pictures of inside City Hall. Well, can you take a picture of outside City Hall, not of us working? I'm not sure what. I don't like being recorded. Oh, am I not in public? All right. So as we all know, fraudsters like to use that uh, the ideal that the cameras inside the location of the uh, wherever they frauditing the cameras that they use there, uh, they use that as an excuse. If uh, if they don't have a problem with those cameras, then why do you have a problem with their cameras? Uh, and I think we're well aware that uh, first of all, those cameras that are placed throughout the building are for security reasons. Okay, in case something goes wrong, uh, they can go back on the camera there and find out what happened who's involved and so on okay we also know that that uh, footage is not going to end up on youtube okay now frauditors again uh we've heard many many frauditors uh they like to brag that you know i can go uh FOIA request that uh footage there and do what i want to do with the uh, the footage after I received it, right? Well, uh, that's why I say, uh, what is the big fascination, okay, of you going in there and recording these public employees because they say they want to make sure that the employees are, are doing their job properly or they're trying to catch them doing something dirty and so on, right? Well, if you want to catch them, then my opinion FOIA request that footage okay because as we all know as long as somebody's got a camera aimed at them they're not going to do anything wrong right all they're doing uh, really come on uh, we all know what their whole intentions of recording the employees are is to get them riled up so they can get a reaction throw it on their channel and and they look like a, a big superstar Okay, but there's really nothing good uh, uh, coming out of this. They're not catching anybody doing any dirt. So, again, if they really wanted, if that was their real intention, then they FOIA request all the footage, go through that camera, and see if you catch the employees doing something wrong. Other than that, uh, these ladies here, uh, those cameras that are posted on the top of the ceiling, after uh, a few hours, those cameras are forgotten about. 
okay? It's not like you got somebody standing a few feet away from you aiming their damn camera at you. I think uh, you guys understand what I'm trying to get at. Uh, let's get back to the video. Well, you're at our job. But isn't your job... But you're recording me. Yeah, but aren't you a public employee? But you're recording me. I understand, ma'am. But aren't you a public employee? Yeah, but I have the right to say yes or no to recording me. Not in public, you don't, ma'am. Call, um... They always is rude. Please don't call the police. I just wanted what y'all provide to the public of Peachtree City and how to register a golf cart in the city and then all three of your names and positions. Okay, it's on our website. What if I don't have uh, internet access? I believe we have... There's forms out there. Forms out there. On how to register. I'm the assistant finance director. My name is Kelly Bush. Okay. That's all you need. Okay, what about her name? Um, they work, their staff. Why, why do you need their names? Are you their supervisor? Oh, then they're public employees, right? Yes. Okay, so I just need their name and position because they interacted with me. Okay, this is Erica Murphy. She's a senior accountant, and um, Kim Golden is a customer service representative. Oh, am I not allowed to take pictures or film in here? You are, but you understand why it's just a little odd to have somebody film how come, everybody. How come they said I wasn't allowed to? No, we said that... I said, don't say we. I had said that I did not give you my permission to record me. I said, and I said record. you can record City Hall, but us personally, if we don't want to be recorded, we shouldn't. Ma'am, I don't need your permission. We're in public. And, and that's fine. We're not going to argue with you about it. Um, is there anything else that we can do to help you? Yes, ma'am. Do you have an open records request? You um, can email the city clerk. Do you have a form I can, can take with we me? We do not have a form. You can write it on a piece of paper and bring it up and drop it off if you'd like. Can I tell you what I need and sure. you can write it down? Um, sure. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Um, all three of your names, I mean your... I just uh, gave you our names and our positions. Okay, your, um, your annual salary, your... T all right, so tell me him asking those ladies, uh, requesting their annual salary is not his way of being a total asshole. I mean, we all know he's an asshole, okay? But right there, it just proves that he's an asshole. I mean, public employees, unfortunately, uh, their information is publicly accessible, and he can get that information on the internet. But because uh, they gave him a little bit of a hard time, if he wants to call that a hard time, well, let me screw with them. Let me hit them where it hurts, okay? Because asking somebody what they make, what they bring home, come on. You know, that's a real kick in the ass. That shows you the piece of shit that he is. 2021 last uh, pay stub for your annual salary. No. Ma'am, I can get that. That's public information. That's just, okay. Okay. So I want your last. Here, you can write it on ah. there what you would like. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Last. Uh. 21. <sighs> very, very unprofessional. So here's golf cart parking here. It's a, it's freedom of okay. the press. And that's it. And, they, and everybody's been briefed at what you can do and can't do. That's sad. This this is a very that's sad that. city hall. Very sad. Okay, well, that's, that's, your, that's your opinion, and you're entitled to your opinion. So... Other than it's been corrected, you talk to them and oh, just don't it, do it again. It, it's been it's been corrected, and uh, so. Okay, because I I was got through earlier, but nobody picked up. So I was wondering, does he have a secretary or something? Or he does not. We we don't have secretaries. We all answer our own phones. Oh, okay. Do you know if the city manager is in? He is in. 
he isn't. I can't tell you if he's in a meeting or anything. He's not. He's not within my view. I'm in the back of the building, and he's on the other side. But I do know that he is in. But he, if you leave a message on his phone, if you, I'm sure he'll he'll call you back if he doesn't answer. Ah, uh, okay. Can you? Are you able to transfer me over there, please, ma'am? Um, I sure will. Um, it's it's really you know you you were really really demeaning and humiliating to me and my employees, and it's really kind of hard to to not feel angry about that. But I will. I am a professional, Miss, and Miss. I work really really hard at my job, and I will transfer you over there. Just Miss, give me one second, Miss Bush. Yes, sir. Did I give you any indication or anything that I wasn't being that I was being unprofessional? Well, when you call people ignorant and three stooges, that that's not real professional. It, it is that professional to you? I don't feel like we called you any names. No, ma'am. I got. We we didn't with, call you any names. No, ma'am. I got. You you called us name and you encouraged other people to to post negative comments and you liked comments where people called us waste. But ma'am, the uh, me yes, sir. me f me filming. No one can say I, you can't. I can film and take pictures in public, ma'am. It's not a crime. Well, actually, you can't post our full names and information without our uh, approval on a website. So you Why? can't do that because it's illegal. Just because we're public employees does not mean that you own us. We are employed by you to do a job, and we do that job. We do that job. We do that job very well. Peachtree City is a triple A rated government. Good morning. We take good care of our infrastructure. We take our fire department is highly rated. Our police department is highly rated. We take care of our parks. We take care of our people. That's what we're paid to do. And if you walk up to our front desk, we help you and if you had walked up to our front desk with an actual need instead of with the intent to wow us up but ma'am why would I mean, a camera I why would a ca why would i be treated different just because i had a camera if i'd come up there without a camera you said i would have got perfect service so why does somebody because feel everybody is not comfortable being filmed just because you can doesn't mean you have to i can do a lot of things legally that morally or just kindly aren't the thing to do. Just because you can, just because you have that right, if someone is uncomfortable being filmed, why do you have to film them?